What's going on in the West? It's a lot. And for all the Dallas Maverick fans, we lost last night. So let's start this on a good note. We're going to be going over the 10 top highlight plays of the week. Lockbox Nation, what's the roll call? Shout out Lockbox Nation. We are live and on your station. And shout out to the subs who always show love. Y'all know what's next. Let's lock in. We got the top 10 highlight plays of the week. And then we're going to get this show started. We got Anthony Simons literally breaking down Mr. Williams Jr. on the drive. And we got two people in the paint. But what happens? Where do you take off from? That boy took off from deep. They never had a chance. Number nine, we got the one and only Luca the Madman Donches. Look, no look. Who he pointing to? PJ? Look at KP. The hesitation. That boy never even moved. Had him froze. So elegant on the finish by Kyrie. Then we got Jalen Brown with the dirty 360 layup. Hey, his foot was on the ground. No basket. Carl Anthony Towns with the over the shoulder behind the back. I'm looking at your pass. That is not a no look, people. Okay, Andre Drummond. And Dallas Mavs fan, we wanted Andre. Not if he getting spent off like that. That boy got post-spin technician Hall of Fame. Kyle Kuzma with the duck and the flop on the way down. Almost hurt himself. Okay, Brandon Ingram. On our arch enemies, the Indiana Pacers. Making Miles Turner look silly out here. Next, we got number three. Uh-oh, Kaminga with the vicious throw down. And might I say he threw that one down. Number two. Uh-oh, the D-Live man himself. Yeah, y'all saw who that was on. KP who? And number one, Dallas Mavs fans, play close attention. Look who's in the paint. They're playing the Charlotte Hornets. It's Superman Grant. Superman, look at that contest. Grant about to block it right. Well, Grant tried, but you know, they say he was a little bit vertical challenge. Okay, look. Oh, look. Oh, he just missed it. Or he, he moved fast enough. All right, Lockbox Nation. So that is your top 10 highlight plays of the week. I will be covering that moving forward. We'll do that show once a week. Other than that, Let's get into it. Let's lock in. All right. So what's going on in the NBA right now? The Western Conference is so packed right now with a lot of good teams that are one, two point five games from each other in the sixth spot, the seventh spot. Everything's so tight. There's a lot of competition in the West. Now on the East end, there's a lot of good teams, which we played two of those teams this week. I know tough schedule. We had the Cavaliers first, Boston Celtics. I know. Don't get mad. It's only, it's only for the video. We should have won the Cleveland Cavaliers game, no doubt. But they let this man go off in the last four minutes. Yes, I'm talking about Max Struess, who hasn't had a good game all season. We, Dallas Miles, we let people have breakout games on us. And that's something that we have to fix. Is it Jason Kidd? Is it Tim Hardaway Jr.? I mean, at this point, we don't have anybody else to blame. Now, go with me somewhere. Our new owners are in the casino business, which means what? Gambling. Which means they feel comfortable playing the odds. So what if this is not Jason Kidd? What if this is the owners? Because we want it to look like we don't have what it takes to compete until it's the time to turn it on. So if we bet or make some bets, the Dallas Mavs will have the cash cow. We'll be the cash cow. Because everybody would have counted us out. Because they don't understand 
that side when you're coming from the casino business and playing the odds. And what's one thing about the casino? The house always wins. Mm -hmm. We won on the Grand Williams trade. As you can see from the top 10 highlight plays of the week, PJ is not getting dunked on like that, or it hasn't happened yet. And I guarantee it ain't going to be on nobody that's shorter than him. Come on, people. We won that. So we can put that to rest. Next, we got to talk about the standings. Let's look at the standings because we did play a lot of good teams. Matter of fact, first, let's see what ESPN has to say. We allow them to continue on their win streak, which is currently sitting at 10 games, maybe more. I'm not counting past 10 unless it's us. What was your favorite play out of the 10 highlight plays of the week? Drop the player. Drop the player's name. Matter of fact, drop who you think should be MVP because we had a few MVP candidates on there. All right. So let me give it to you. So before we get into the other stuff, let's get into the highlights of the game, which we had a few. All right, we got Luka Doncic and the one and only Jason Tatum. We got Luka Doncic with the lovely step back three. Can't guard him out here. Drew Holiday, yeah, you a top defender, point attack defender, but I'm going to show you that you can't defend this. Can't touch this. Okay, Drew, you thought I was about to shoot it. You leaning heavily. PJ on the wing, but get that boy out the corner. Luka, who you passing to? You're looking over there, but Kyrie's over there. No look. And the elegant finish by Kyrie, the one and only Irvin. But then in the third quarter, Jason Tatum started to heat up. And boy, was he going on a tear. Even Kendrick Perkins was disappointed in his first half performance because he was getting outshined by the Don himself. But he did turn it up. Now, there was a part in this game where we definitely could have took taken the one. In the game where we definitely could have took over. But Jason Kidd, what the hell happened, man? Come on, man. We got to do better. The fans are disappointed. Then we got Tim Hardaway out here losing the ball. Turnovers. We need smart shot selections. Tim, I know you can make a pull up, but I might need you to I might need you to wait. That's crazy. We had Al Horford showing out on us. Can you imagine that? Al Horford showing out on us. Literally, people say in a video, I can't wait for him to retire. We ain't got time to wait for Al Horford to retire. We need to take him off. Now we got that extra roster spot. We need to go get a shooting big. Now, just <laughs> Jason Kidd, we say you ain't got no excuses, but you don't have a shooting bid. So we're going to give it to you there because Maxi Kleber is a four. He can't make it through all this wear and tear. He's not meant to be bumping bodies against other big bodies, especially bigger than him. He's a four. We need a five that can shoot. And we don't even need that. Jason Kidd needs a five that can shoot. But you had him. You let him go. Pennies on the dollar. Christian Wood, granted his defense wasn't good, but hell, we done seen everybody have bad defense on this team. Come on now. But we got to take a break from the rant. So if you didn't know, we lost to the Boston Celtics, and I know that's tough. And we already went over that in this video. So now what we will do is we will highlight the one and only Luka Doncic for his 25th birthday game celebration. Yeah, we're going to turn up a little bit for that because we got to enjoy the little things. That's how you survive the zombie apocalypse because we're going through an apocalypse right now with the Dallas Mavericks. We just got to survive. Now, I know we give a lot of heat to Jason Kidd, but look at the owners. What business are they coming from? The casino business. 
And what's one thing about the casino that we all know? The house always wins. And if the house always wins, that means there are a lot of moving parts happening in the back that we can't see. But when it's time to turn on, watch this team turn it up a notch. So, yeah, we lost to the Boston Celtics. We had a lot of great showings and a lot of great outings from a few players, but it wasn't enough. They had Al Horford literally showing off, sh literally showboating after he makes a three. I would say the nail in the coffin, but it was a lot of nails in the coffin already. But, like I said, we're going to end it on a good note. So the last part of this video, we will be watching Luka Doncic go off on his 25th birthday in a Washington's breakout game. So, strapping. All right, we got Luka coming down the court. Scotty Barnes on him. Man, you quickly. Little sh shoulder bump. Almost knocked that boy down. PJ with the three. This was hit PJ's breakout game. And then we got Derek Lively. Oh, brought up the defense. And PJ was able to slide behind him. Okay, we got Kyrie calling for the screen. D-Live, D-Live coming through. Luca, stay on your feet, Scotty. I'm going to take it to the paint. Easy. Luca has been more focused on getting downhill to get those easy buckets instead of forcing it from the three. You know Gaff going to score it. Gaff ain't trying to pass to the open Dante Exum. He's going to try to get buckets. Then we got Kyrie fighting. Kyrie, we got Luca Dodgers fighting through the traffic. Puts up the shot. Slows down the defense. Attacks. Oh, behind the back, over the head, Tim Hardaway from the corner, wide open. Man, the 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 Raptor. Oh, okay. He tried to kick that ball. Okay, we got Luca. Nice easy pass right down to the middle. I just need them to catch it. All our bigs gotta do is be ready for the ball and then just do that. Nice easy pass. Started with Kyrie at the top. Went to Luca down to D Live. D Live back to Luca. Luca's gonna take it. Just take his time. Nice fade. Luca at the top of the key. Slows it down. Gets him off balance. Drives in. Pass fake behind the back. Confused. Three people on him. They didn't know what was going on. Oh, yeah. Luca. Or did I say Peyton Manning? Eli? No, not Eli. Let's go Aikman. Brady. All right. Manuel quickly. Gaff stepping out so he can defend or close out on the three. Gaff already down there. You know that's a dunk. Hey, y'all notice they stop calling text when you hang on the rim too long? Luca, yeah, y'all not going to touch me? I'm just big like that. Three people. Bruce Brown who? Okay, Scotty take full speed ahead. Then he smokes the layup. Exum with the full court pass. Did you forget about me? Yeah, I'm down here. Hashtag cherry picking. Is Luca? Is Luca in the gym with Kyrie, working on those dribble pull-ups? Josh Green fighting with a nice pass. Oh, PJ with a short shot. I thought that was going in. Just a few of those highlights from the game. All right. So before we go, we're gonna tap in, and I'm gonna give you the seeding just to let you know what we're looking at. So this week. Like I say, we did play a lot of good teams. We played the number one and two team in the East, the Boston Celtics, Cleveland Cavaliers, and they were tough games. Okay, so let's go over the standards before we go. We got the Boston Celtics and the Cleveland Cavaliers, which we played both this week, and we took two L's to them. Yeah, two L's. We should have won against the Cleveland Cavaliers, but unfortunately, we weren't able to seal the deal on that one. We got a little lax, and we let Max Drews go off. Lesson learned. Boston Celtics. You can't say anything about that. But nonetheless, it's been a lot of teams in the East that we have been able to compete with and beat. For example, New York, the New York Knicks, who are sitting at fourth, and a lot of other teams. Not to mention the Toronto Raptors. I mean, they're in the 12th spot. So that's nothing to brag about. But let's go down to the Western Conference. The Minnesota Timberwolves are still at number one. Then OKC Thunder. Then we got the Denver Nuggets. Then the Phoenix Suns. Then the New Orleans Pelicans, Sacramento Kings. Then the Dallas Mavericks. We have been flirting with the AC for the longest. I'm talking about we're taking one for the team. We got the homegirl. We want the main one. 
Come on. We got to do better. We have to compete and finish these games. And we got to play to every second is gone. The game's not over. It's no more playing people in garbage time if we're only up by 15, 20 points. We need to be up by 40 before we start putting people in. I'm just saying. So outside of that, that's the standings that you know we're at. The West still pretty tight. Most of the teams are one game, half a game, two games back. And it's going to be interesting to see how the rest of the season lays out or plays out. With that being said, Lockbox Nation, signing off your station.